Hello. Bingo. Oh, no. sorry. Oh, not yet. Not yet. I'm sorry. <laughs> not yet. I'm really excited. Yes. Um, tonight because we're gonna play bingo and um, uh, would you say you're excited about bingo? Yeah. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Love bingo. I think I like to play bingo more than Chris likes I, to play bingo. Yeah. I, a little bit more. Yeah. A little bit more. But um, it's going to be great. We haven't played bingo in um, a few months, actually. I keep putting it on the list uh, on my spreadsheet. I keep moving bingo to the next week. Have you noticed that? Yeah. It keeps moving. Yeah. And finally, we're doing it tonight. So it should be good. Um, I will explain exactly how the bingo process works in just a moment, but the main thing is you have to have access to the YouTube chat to play because that is the only way we can hear you through your loud typing uh, telling us that you won bingo. If you yell it into your computer screen, unfortunately, we won't hear it no. because this is not Zoom. Fortunately, I should say. Yes. Fortunately, not Zoom. Um, so you have to have access to the chat. I believe if you have a Google account, I should not tell you what to do on this account because I, I don't really know, but I think if you have a Google account, you can very easily get a YouTube um, username and then you can communicate with us through the chat. So right now I'm going to put the link to the bingo boards into the chat. Here we go. All you have to do is click on that link and it will generate you a um, unique personal bingo card. Nobody has the same bingo card. Correct. Hopefully. <laughs> um, and from that, we will play bingo. So the only thing you can do so far on the bingo board is um, X out the middle uh, square, which contains the little Tunes Apply badge in it. That's the free square. Um, for the rest of the squares, you have to uh, hear us play or play along with us the tune that is in the square. Or for the picture ones, the things referenced in the picture have to come up on the screen. Now I know that some of you already looked at the set list and so you might be able to see that some of those tunes on your bingo board are going to be played. Yes, yes that's true. But I, we, the set list is not in order necessarily. That's true. On that's the true. Internet. It is not actually. And you have to wait until the tune is actually started to be played. You must wait until the tune has been played, including if it's in the middle of the set. I know that's weird, but that's yep. that's the way we're going to keep everything nice and fair here. Yep. Um, and once the tune has been played, then you can say bingo into the chat and we will award prizes. So um, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about how bingo works, but I think what we should do first is just start playing some tunes. Great. And then I'll, I'll answer any questions and we'll, we'll keep talking about how this works. Um, so if you just arrived and you want to play bingo with us, just scroll up in the chat. The link is still there. I put it in as Tune Supply. Grab a board, put your name on it, and then you can, you can play along here. So nobody's going to win bingo on this one, so it's totally fine to go ahead and just start playing, and then we'll, we'll keep talking about how all this works. Um, there is a theme for tonight, and the theme is New York, New York, take two. We did New York, New York two weeks ago when Chris and I were in the bubble, but we only give you guys like what was it, 36 hours notice yeah. that the session was even happening. So I felt like we should do New York, New York again. Yeah, we got to give another shot at it. Because it's a big city. Yes. Um, so we will be doing that. However, my personal theme for the tunes that I have selected tonight is actually not New York related. It is uh, tunes that I have taught recently in the Irish Arts Center classes and at Fiddle Hell. Um, because I know a, a bunch of the students out there participate in the sessions and I want you to have a chance to play the tunes. So we are going to do that right now. We'll start with Road to Boston, which was a tune I taught in level two recently, followed by Rakes of Mallow and then ending with Maids of Arda. So polkas to get started tonight. Go ahead and play. If you have those on your board, you can mark them. Once we play them. Once you play them. I, I mean, like, nobody's going to win bingo right now. I don't think. Although with the picture, no. No, nobody can win bingo just yet. Um, and by, to mark it, you just click on it if you're on your computer. And in the past, we've had people ask, can I print the board out? Yes, you can print the board out and just do it with a pen. In that case, we might ask you for your little ID number just to verify. Trust and verify. Verify is that, the bingo. Yeah. Is that how it goes? Yeah. yeah we'll just verify bingos because we, we did have a weird... We did have a false bingo. We had a false bingo last, last time. We played, yeah. Yeah. So we'll just make sure everybody's being nice and above board. Oh, I know. Sorry, I know you keep getting ready to put the microphone on. You can mark off a different square, actually, if you want. There's a square on there that said, if if you have ordered scones from Mary, you can mark the square off. <laughs> so if you have ordered scones from Mary, you can go ahead and mark that one uh, as well. And we're going to have to just trust that you tell the truth on that one, because I don't have the records to the orders. <laughs> but um, that one is markable. OK, so let's play some polkas. And we'll go slow on these so we can catch everybody up. 
first one starts like this in D. All right, uh, one, two, three, four.
sharp there. My leading tone. Yeah, your leading tone. That's, that was great. Um, excellent polkas to get started with. I don't know if James Cleveland is out there watching, but I've said many times, I always think of James when when we play polkas, specifically James on, oh, yeah. on the um, baby grand piano at Mary O's, which is still there. We were there recently. Mm -hmm. We checked in with Mary. The piano's there. The, the disco ball's there. Everything's waiting for She's our return. Yeah. Um, and we are, I, as I said to Mimi the other day, we're thinking about thinking about when the real session will restart. Not just yet, because we're still a little worried about safety, but um, we, we will let you know when that happens for the New Yorkers and for those of you who want to come and visit yes. this famous place, Mario's. Um, okay, so some people arrived while we were playing the polkas, and I want to catch everybody up on bingo, and then after that, we're just going to go. Great. Um, because it's going to get too many tunes to, to catch up on Indeed. at some point. So let me get you the link. If you don't have a board, you can use this link here. I realized I should put it in the description of the video. I will do that in we'll just that a shortly, second. Yeah. But it's in the chat right now, and you do need the chat in order to play. Well, you could play without telling us if you won bingo. But you if can't you win unless you have the chat. <laughs> if you want to win, you have to have the chat, because you have to tell us when you won. Um, I neglected to say what the prizes are. What are the prizes, Caitlin? Well, I, there's, I, you know I love giving things to people, and mm -hmm. so there's a couple of different options, and I'm just going to let people se select. So you could either select a, any Tune Supply t-shirt, off the website that we have in stock. Not the sweatshirts, just the t-shirts. Um, uh, what was my second? Oh, we haven't done this before, but we have a, a, a product on the store, which is um, you can have any tune supply artist record a tune for you from which to learn the tune, like a oh, teaching a recording. Yeah. So if you want to select a, a tune recorded by one of our amazing folks on the roster, um, then that could be a prize. Good and what prize. was my third one? Oh. Of course, these guys. Third prize, the most valuable. Most, Tune printed on a label. Most valuable, most unique. Or it's hard to see. <laughs> Tune printed on a label, your choice. And Chris, custom uh, copies, is that the right uh, verb? Yeah, I guess. The Tune onto the label. I know it doesn't look like anything's there, but um, and we send those to you. Okay. Extremely valuable. It's the most valuable it one, is, yeah. absolutely. It's priceless, I'd say. Mm -hmm. um, so you get to choose. And we will probably have many bingos by the time this is done. That's usually how it goes. We'll yes. do at least three or however many. It's always hard to tell like how many people yeah. are going to win. Um, quickly, the other rules. You cannot mark off the square until it's played on the, on the session or you see the picture referenced on the screen. Mm -hmm. Um, the only other square you can check off right now is there's one that's one that says if you bought Mary's scones, if you ordered them, you can check that box off. Yep. Not everybody has all the boxes, of course, but if yes. you have that one. Any other things we need to note for bingo? I feel if like you, the, so the you can check it off once the tune is started. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Not completed. So the beginning of the tune in question is when you can. I hope it, it doesn't come down to that, it but, might. but it might. So it's yes, good to be, uh, once it starts. Good to be clear about all yes, this. Yes, yes. And if you're not a tune player, if you're just here for the fun of watching us blabber, which I, there's definitely nobody who's doing that, no. but if you are, the way that you tell that a tune is going to start, the next tune, because we play three at a time, I usually say, hup, and that means that we're starting into the, the next tune, right. and the tunes are down at the bottom, as usual. Um, okay, I see lots of comments, which I'm going to have to sort of read in just a second. If there's any specific questions about bingo and how this works, please put them in the chat right now so we can answer them. Well, uh, while you do that, I'm going to introduce our first guests here. Mm -hmm. We have four special guests tonight, and they're each playing either one or two sets of tunes. Chris and I are the official leaders this week. We're going to play a bunch of sets for, with you. Um, but we have uh, Mari Black and Kendall Rogers as our first pair of special guests. They did an amazing session. Yes. I've lost all track of time. It could have been a month or a year ago. Who knows? But I think it was two months. Closer to two, I think it was closer to two months than a year. Yeah. It was great though. Yeah. You should check it out. It's if you can go into the into the session playlist. Um, but they are back for two sets tonight with all of the antics. Yes. And they're going to get us started off here. Okay. All right. Here we go. Hey there, Tune Supply folks. It's Mari Black from Boston, Massachusetts. And Kendall Rogers down in Houston, Texas. It has been a little while since we've seen you guys. We've missed you not only because you're awesome, but because you guys, you guys, we know appreciate our fine taste in horrible puns. And to celebrate your fine taste for our horrible puns and other horrible puns in the universe, we have put together a couple of horrible pun sins, uh, sets for you tonight there. Sins was the um, right word. Sets with wonderful tunes, but horrible pun names. All right, so uh, let's do some jigs. We are calling this set, A Chap Off the Old Maison. 
chop off the old man's nose, like a chip off the old block. Mm -hmm. Are puns worth when you explain them? Yes, yes they are. All right, so maybe you've already figured out which jigs would comprise a chop off the old maison. Of course, maison is maison de glace in D, which we'll start with. The old part, it's a little trickier, lots of tunes with old in the name. We've picked the old flail in G, and then we'll finish off with Stan Chapman's. <laughs> Stan Chapman's in A. All right, here we go.
excellent tunes to get started. Yeah, yeah. I don't know the first one, but somebody said in the chat that um, it was taught at Fiddle Hill ah, as well. So cool. um, Mari and I were on the same wavelength. And didn't someone say that Andre Brunet's brother wrote it? Oh, yes. Yes, they did. Is that Lynn that said that? Yes. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure folks that are fans of Fiddle, Fiddle Hell already know this, but they... Um, are leaving up the fiddle hell materials the extensive materials for three months and actually yeah. if you did if you weren't there you can still get access to the materials for a lesser price oh like right now you could go and you get can them. still buy access to yeah it. Oh, and cool. have access to everything awesome. it's very very cool um if you go to their website i'm sure you can you can uh, figure that out and then you can mm -hmm. get taught that tune by yes. did the, it was is it andre who taught it i think so yeah wow that's amazing that's yeah cool. okay so go check that out um so we don't have any bingos yet um, I actually have a really creepy ability when we play bingo, which is that I can yep. see everybody's boards. That's true. <laughs> if you're doing it online. If you're printing them out, I can't see into your house. We don't Thank have you. cameras in your house yet. No, I, we, we're not going to do that. Yeah. Um, but if you're, if you're doing it online, I can see um, who has marked their squares. And some people are already quite close, actually. Right. Yeah. I never know exactly how many things to put on the bingo boards. It's hard to, because you never know how many people are going to come and no. how many people are going to play bingo. No, I, I would prefer that more people won, though, than right. that nobody won. Well, Some, we'll certainly get a bunch of bingos tonight. Someday I want to play anti-bingo. Anti so, like, last man standing? Last man standing bingo. That would be really yeah. interesting. It would take forever. Um, okay, what do we have? Oh, Toast Report. So, um, Chris and I were away for a few days on a little road trip, and um, Toast had to stay here by himself. And he was pretty sad about that. We did have somebody come and feed him. Um, but he's uh he's down here recuperating he wants to be, be really close to us all the time yeah um i have i'm sorry we're not going to pick him up to show you because he looks he's pretty asleep. he's asleep yeah. <laughs> but we have one picture of him i think did i put a yeah picture yeah. in yes and then oh <laughs> i forgot that. i forgot which picture i put we dressed toast up as a shark the other day you might recognize this this costume. Actually. Yeah, avocado has worn this costume. Yeah, avocado is much smaller than toast. Right. Um, and toast was not happy about this, but we were amused for a moment. Yeah. Okay, and then the second picture is not of toast, but it is of uh, an animal that we encountered. This picture was in the bathroom of the hotel we stayed at the, for the last couple of days. Uh, it takes a minute to even figure out what it is. My mom looked at it briefly and she said, "Is that a tardigrade?" <laughs> <laughs> Which it kind of does look like. That's a great so, picture. <laughs> I know. I can just stare at like. The skin and the wrinkles. Um, so those are our, our toast pictures for today. And I also wanted to just mention right up front here that um, our tunes by sweatshirts kept selling out, even though it wasn't. It's not cold anymore. Um, so I did one more restock before the summer. I guess we're in the summer months. But um, we just finally put my mom put them onto the store, and so they are ready to be uh, purchased. And already the extra larges are almost gone. Um, but if you'd like one, they look like this. Well, there's lots of different colors, but this is the red one. It just got restocked. And um, you can find Beautiful them. Beautiful designs by Anna Collison. Yes. Um, softest garment you own, I would guess. Mm -hmm. Unless you own some... Um, what's that What's that softest wool in the world? Vicuña. Vicuña would be softer than this. I don't own any Vicuña. No. Not wealthy enough to, no. to do so. I do have some muskox, which is very it's soft. Quite but, soft, yeah. Um, anyways, if you don't have vicuña or muskox, this is this is a very soft garment. And it's you can get them over at store.tune.supply, and I'll put that into the chat in a moment. Um, okay, tunes. Oh, yeah, we're going to play some jigs. Great. And the first jig here is one that I uh, just taught, again, at Level 2 Irish Arts Center class. Gary Owen is the name, and then we will go into... The Orphan, uh, which I was reminded of because a couple of Mario's folks got together outside and played some tunes recently, and somebody played The Orphan, which I haven't played in a while. Great tune. And we will finish off with uh, Kerfunten, a couple common ones here. Two times each, as usual. First one's in D. Oh, you put the, st oh, you put the store. Thank you. I didn't even see that you did that. Yep. That's, you're, you're so fast, I didn't even notice. Okay, uh, one...
too. Mm-hmm. Um, I realized, I don't think we, I don't know if we've ever played Gary Owen on the session. Do you remember ever doing that? Maybe once. Maybe at the beginning, I know it. Yeah. Like, I know ish the tune. It's on so some I movies and things. It. Did you know that? I did not know that. Um, but it's great. It's, it's a tune that is really excellent for teaching because it's mostly made out of scales, right. because you may yeah. have noticed. So you, you can like sound notice. really fancy without doing very much work on it. It's really a great tune. Um, OK, some, somebody said something in the comments that I was going to say something to. Oh, Go- Gordon Nash says, is Gary Owen one word? I never knew that. And then that made me think about whether I am certain that it's one word or not. And I'm not. Hmm. I actually don't know. Maybe somebody in the chat can. Um, correct me if it's supposed to be two words. I've always, always spelled it just as one word there. Um, There's a question about whether the toast report oh, consists or comprises the toast square. It does indeed. Is, so you can mark off your toast square if you have it. Yes, there is a toast square. It's the same toast square I used on the last bingo. Sorry, I was being lazy. But mm. yes, you can. Uh, uh, you, you don't approve of that. What? Of you using the same toast picture? No, we have so fine. we have so care. many toast pictures. Yeah, we should probably use new ones. Um, um, any other questions about bingo? Did no, they... there's a great comment though about uh, Maison de Glace. Oh, translates to the House of Ice. Um, oh. could also be the alternate name for a former girlfriend. <laughs> oh, according to Peter Kaysen. Oh, Peter Kaysen. <laughs> I was thinking you were going to make some nice Alaska comment. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Um, great. I haven't even had a, a chance to, to read everything yet. Okay, well, I'm going to read the comments during this next set because we have another guest set here. Um, oh no, we have, first we have some New York pictures. Also, we, Richard Perry asked us to give a shout out to the Connecticut Academy of Irish Music. I yes. don't know if folks are watching or, or whatever, but hi, hi Hello. Connecticut folks. For the, Did he say that there's a, like an event or anything? I'm not sure. Okay. I'm not sure. Well, tell us if yeah. there's something that you want us to announce because um, part of the point of Tune Supply is, of yes. course, to support other organizations. So let us know. Yeah. If you, um, but uh, yes, shout out to Connecticut. You're right over there. We'll yeah. wave out the window here. <laughs> um, uh, yes, I had a few New York pictures of my own. Um, just I think there's just five or oh, so yeah. um, to, to show before we go. Okay, and this, I think, is one of your squares. This was the view from the bubble when we were stuck in the infamous bubble. There was a roof um, deck, mm-hmm. and it did have this amazing view. And it is kind of, you can't see it very well. Over on the left there is 57th Street, and there's only one of these in the picture, but... Um, 48th Street. No, 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 up here. Oh, oh that way. I was going to mention, there's these super tall buildings that are going up on 57th Street that look even out of place in a, in a, in a skyline of skyscrapers. Yeah. It's so bizarre. There's one or two of them yeah. over there on the left, you, you can see. Um, this is a picture of my sister, Rachel, and I. We used to come to New York. Um, we would take buses from our various college, colleges, mm-hmm. meet in New York for Thanksgiving, and the joke was that we always tried to go to the parade, but we always missed it because we were sleeping in. Does that sound familiar yes, to you? Yes, it does. Um, and there we are in Times Square, and now that's where we go like, t- to do our work yeah. in normal times. So strange. Okay, this is one of the squares on the board as well, and I just uh, this is such a strange New York creature. Do you know about these things? Yes, you tell me about this. Um, actually, maybe people can guess what they think those are before I tell what they are. Let's go on to the next picture, and, and people can guess what they think those are. And this is from a, a, a shortly before a pandemic started. This is the Pride of the Cayley Subway Band, which is a bunch of my friends, folks you might know from Tune Supply there. And we, um, on, on occasion, it's like once every th- three or four years, Isaac says, OK, everybody, we're going to ride the subway around and play tunes on the subway while we're wearing our t-shirts. So that was the last time that happened. Very New York sort of thing. And there's Chris and I eating oatmeal on the High Line. I'd say that's not normal, necessarily a New York thing. Normal but. New York thing to do, bring your breakfast <laughs> up to the High Line, I guess. That was a few years ago when we lived kind of near the High Line. Yes. Um, okay, so did anybody guess what the looks like heads in jars? <laughs> Kim Harris guesses subway lights, close. That's very close. Yeah. Placeholders. Uh, looks like lights, yes, homebrews. So they are, this is so strange, they are the necklace lights, they're called for the um, Williamsburg Bridge, which is one of the three bridges that crosses the East River down yeah, near where we live. Yes. Um, and one year, a number of years ago, the city was selling all of the all of the necklace lights. They're the lights that you see if you look at it from afar um, because they were replacing them with LED lights. And so they put like 100 necklace lights or whatever up on the city auction site, which for a while there, I was just perusing the city auction site every day just like to see, <laughs> see what's like out there. All sorts of weird <laughs> stuff that they sell on the city auction site that you'd, 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 you wouldn't think that like a civilian could just go by, but indeed. Probably like old 
trucks and one time where they were selling mechanical equipment and yes yeah. that stuff but one time they were selling a, an old fire boat cool like you could just go and buy the boat what do you do with that once you buy it you have to take it somewhere else but they, it's, it was like sitting you could go and look at it huh. it's so strange anyways so i was like you know what i'm gonna buy like 20 of those necklace lights how big could they be like how and i'm gonna sell them that was what i was thinking yeah. so i um i did <laughs> bought them for like 20 dollars a piece or something it was an auction yeah and they but nobody else knew about it so i bought them and uh drove, drove the car down to this man that i um christened the king of the bridges um he lives in a bridge castle underneath the brooklyn bridge where he keeps all the bridge paraphernalia for new york Great. and he loaded the <laughs> lights into my car and then i was like okay i'm gonna sell these <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wanted to buy any Brooklyn Bridge lights or Williamsburg Bridge lights, so I still have I think five or six of them. I did some. I did sell a few of them yeah. for like thirty bucks. <laughs> Great profit. <laughs> They're well huge. worth all the effort to go pick them up. I guess. <laughs> They're huge. Yeah. They weigh a lot, and they didn't plug in to regular plugs. Yeah, so you I probably need a special replace outlet, right? the plug, which yeah. cost another twenty bucks for. <laughs> the whole thing was strange, but it's a really good New York story. And yeah. I thought for New York night. I'll put that square yes. on the bingo board. So if you see those weird egg pod things on your bingo board, you can go ahead and cross that the off. The weird egg pods. Yes. Otherwise known as Williamsburg Bridge. <laughs> Kim Kara says, Lights. what are you going to do with them? I don't know. Uh. Okay, here's the other problem. They're extremely bright, as you would expect yeah. to light up a bridge. Yeah. And so you can't just leave them on in your house. They right. like you. They get. They also get hot. I don't know. I was thinking that I should buy like a cabin in Alaska, put one on the top of the cabin to like alert people to where the cabin is. That's like the a, only thing I could think. Like a, like a beacon. Like a beacon, aircraft beacon. <laughs> yes, exactly. Anyways, okay, let's move on. Kim Harris very wants one. Oh, well, I'll sell you one for 20 bucks, yeah. Kim Harris. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's move on from this strange topic. Um, we have another special guest, uh, Emer Arkins, uh, who lives in St. Louis. She's been doing lots of tune supply stuff this whole time. Also an amazing teacher, I want to note, on lots of different uh, topics and instruments. She has a set of tunes. Yep. Do you know what it is? Uh, I forgot. OK, let's go see. I, I knew at one point. <laughs> OK, here we go. Enjoy. Hello, tune supply. I am delighted to be back at the virtual Mary O session this week. And it's exciting to think that a trip to Mary O's or a trip to New York is actually a possibility that it's on the horizon. And hopefully I'll be able to make that happen over the coming months and meet some of you who have been supporting and playing along with these virtual sessions at home. I'm gonna play a couple of three part jigs. The first one is called The Frost Is All Over. And a lot of people just play two parts of this tune, but there's a secret third part, um, which actually goes in the middle. So watch out for that. And I'm gonna follow that then with a lovely jig called The Coming of Spring.
You. Woo! Love that. Okay. Have we our have first a, bingo. We Congrats. should have a sound yeah, effect. Yeah, we should have a sound effect. How about... Um, uh, yes, that's perfect for bingo. Congrats, Laura Johnson. You are the first bingo winner of the evening. Yes, and I had written down on my paper that um, I was going to uh, reply to a question Laura Johnson asked, which is, do you keep a car in New York? We do, excuse me, we do not have a car in New York. I used to have a car, um, but do not anymore. But that was when I lived in Brooklyn. Not that Brooklyn is that much easier, but it's a little bit easier, it's a little than easier. Yeah. having a car. And you just don't need a car in Manhattan, I would say. Absolutely not. Yeah. There would be, I mean, we would pay $600 a month to park it down here. At least. At least. Yeah. So, um, so when we le want to leave the city, we just rent a car for a few days, and that's much cheaper. But um, yes, it is crazy to have a car here. Uh, okay, what was I going to say? Oh, prize for Laura Johnson. Okay, so Laura, you get to select your prize, and um, really, I'm open to any like if you want something other than the prizes on offer, I I could probably make it yeah. happen. Um, but the ones that I mentioned were any of the shirts, uh, the t-shirts or the tank tops on the on the store, or a tune printed on a label. My That's personal favorite prize. Chris's favorite yeah, prize. Like you get to select the tune. Chris writes it for you on the label. You can stick it to people. Or, um, what was the third thing? Oh, um, a custom recording of a, a tune of your choice made for you to learn from for from any of the Tune Supply artists on our roster. Yes. As long as Most any of them. Yeah, they have to be available. Yeah. I mean, you can request somebody and we'll ask them. Yes. Um, we, obviously, they, they have their own. They can decide yes yeah. or no. Um, so let us know what you what you want. Everybody else, we're going to keep playing. There's more prizes, more bingos to be had. There's basically Don't endless worry. prizes, so we, let's just keep playing. Once we'll we see. run out of prizes, we just start giving away <laughs> Cats things on our shelves. Cats and dogs. Yeah. Um, we usually do three or four prizes, so we'll yeah. see how fast this starts. It usually starts speeding up. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay. We could give away a bridge light. I would do that except for I think shipping on those things yeah, would probably be, be crazy. Also, it's probably illegal. I think those bulbs have like like stuff they you're not supposed to. They're probably gases in them. Yeah. Like, they're probably toxic. Yeah. I don't know. Um, anyways, we should put one out our window maybe. Yeah. And to attract mosquitoes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, a couple of funny things. Um, I forgot to show this on the session the other day. <laughs> Oh, our award. I'm really only showing it because I made it a bingo square. Yeah. Our award for Heroes of the Pandemic that we received a few weeks ago from the Irish Arts Center, and we even got a medal. Have you, you tried it on? It? I've never tried it on. You should probably wear it. Okay. Um, <clears throat> oh, wow. You should. Nice. I think you should wear that at all future sessions. Does it feel really it nice? It feels and... substantial. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. I feel like I've really arrived in life. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so if you have the award on your bingo sheet, you can... Um, mark that off. You may recall that we lost the uh, popular vote by four votes, <laughs> um, which I know I'm getting proud. It's actually, it's my fault because I only voted once. <laughs> it's a fu that's a funny statement to yeah. make. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for er voting, those of you who did. And then the other thing I was going to mention was we missed a really important holiday. Yeah, we did. And I was intending actually to uh, do a little live lesson on Tune Supply on this holiday, but we were in the bubble and it was crazy. Um, the holiday was um, May 4th, um, which is the Star Wars holiday. Yep. And the reason I thought of this is because I was doing some spring cleaning because the house has gotten a little cluttered, my fault. Um, and I found these. Does anybody remember these? Wait, which way does it go? Is that right? We, yeah, 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 like this. This is from when I taught the Star Wars jig. Um, I didn't actually teach, teach it for May 4th. It just happened to be yeah, at the same time. Be, right. But anyways, if you are a Star Wars fan and you haven't learned the Star Wars jig, I'm going to put the link to the lesson in the description so you can learn it. And I think next time I'll play it on the session if you'll indulge me. Yes. Just for fun since we missed the holiday. Sure. Okay. And I'll use, uh, th these are used in teaching it. Actually, one of my friends from Fairbanks sent me a picture that her little 10-year-old student made today of the of the drawing and the sheet music underneath it it's, it's great. great it warmed yeah. my heart okay so i'm gonna put the link to that in the in the chat can um, i take my award off no, no. Okay. do you want to wear it no i think you should right. wear it <laughs> okay we're gonna play another set of tunes here let Excellent. me before i forget though put the link to star wars oh, okay. in the chat um oh i forgot okay. we found the star wars font we did I, I know it was yeah. it was very fancy okay there you go there's the there's the lesson to learn it if you if you don't know it already um, okay, tunes. Let's play a few tunes here. Mm. Oh, yes. So these two tunes, actually there's three tunes, but the first two I taught to my level six Irish Arts Center class recently. They are slip jigs. The first one is Farewell to Wally Range. 
Actually, that's from level four. And then the second one is from level six. An fish fluch. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, that's the Irish for a um, somewhat dirty mm. English translation, which I won't say. Mm -hmm. And then we will end with uh, Redican's mother, a uh, very common, tune, common subject. So if you don't know those first two, um, don't worry. We will get to get to a common one at the end. Okay. Two times each. Middle one has five parts, by the way, if you yes. don't know it. So just be careful there. Yes. Um, yeah. Okay. F sharp minor for this first one. And Mari has arrived, by the way. I saw, yes. Yeah, and she's trying to catch up on bingo, so help her out if, if you can. Well, actually, people probably don't want to help her because they want to win bingo. Well, be nice and help Mari while we're doing this. Okay, here we go. Uh, one, two, three. <laughs>
was some awesome piano playing. I said when we were practicing this that Chris and I should add that set to our concert repertoire. Not that we played a concert <laughs> in a really long time, yes. but it's a great set. I really like it. Um, excellent. Okay, we have a bingo. We got a bingo, right? Was that, that, was, that, from, was, the, was that the only one? I just want to check. I think so, just checking. From Sally, from right? From Sally, yeah. I and saw that was it. the only one. Or was that another one? I think no. that was the only one. If we're wrong about that, let us know. But I think Sally is our second bingo winner, and we will keep playing at yeah. least until four. Let's say at least four winners. Wow, four bingos. Okay. Why not? Yeah. Why not? What the heck? Um, so Sally, uh, hopefully you heard the prize offerings there a moment ago. Let us know what you want. Either, oh, I should say how you do that. You can put it in the comments if you want, or you can um, send us an email, tunes at tune.supply, and we will, of course, need your mailing address to send you um, the physical items. Yes. We only need your email for the um, tune recording, if that's what you'd like. Great. Congratulations. Should we do a, we should probably have a congratulations sound for each winner. Oh, yeah, don't sure. You think? What else Maybe do another have? one. This is a nice one. <laughs> yes. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Uh, next up, we have our halftime poem from Mimi. And um, uh, we've been having so much fun playing bingo. I forgot to say some inf important information, which is um, please contribute. Oh, yeah. um, right. we, we, Here's the link. We got lost in the fun of the night. So the, your contributions are how we pay the musicians who are on all of these sessions. This is number 71. We've paid, I don't know the current count, over 200 musicians for their presence on the session. Um, so I'll put that link into the comments. Hopefully everybody knows it already, but just in case. Um, thank you for your helping us keep this going. Um, and while you're doing that, we can go hear the poem from Mimi. Hi, Mario's friends. Um, a, a poem in honor of New York. Uh, Amos wanted to be shown with his two favorite pictures that I've taken of typical New York scenes. On the left, a dog walker up Columbus Avenue, and on the right, uh, a worker who agreed to have his picture taken by me next to a Banksy on 79th by Broadway. All right, here's the very bad poem, New York, New York. E.B. White said in Here Is New York, which he wrote back in days when only some people could vote, there are three kinds of folks, explorers, commuters, and blokes, and we're all in the same New York boat. Commuters come and go every day like the surf. Blokes born and raised are just on their home turf, but explorers come to make to seek and create. Unto New York, it's spice they confer. So we all crowd together each day and each way. If you're lucky, you work here, you live here and play. It's universe's epicenter. Like none other you'll enter. New York is miraculous every day. Thank you so much to Caitlin and Chris who came from a way to make New York miraculous in your own way. We love you, you're amazing. And without you, Tune Supply would not be the insignia on Amos's little sailor hat. Please chip in to the box if you can. Um, and we are hoping that you're all staying safe, getting vaccinated, wearing your masks to protect people who can't be, or little children who haven't yet been, and see you soon. Take care. Bye. Eat your kibble. <laughs> oh, I love seeing Amos. I love that hat. I know. Amos has a great hat every week. Yes, and it, it changes gradually over time. Yes. Oh my goodness. Um, so so good to see Amos and cool pictures. Yeah, Mimi's got a lot of cool pictures. Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah, so as as Mimi said, please contribute uh, to the box if you can. Um, do we have the box? Oh, there's, there, the, box. there's yeah. the box. Soon, hope, maybe maybe soon. We the might box, be breaking the box out for real. The yeah. real box, and you could put real money in the real box Indeed. and have a real Guinness and yeah. a real Kevin Crawford. Yeah. That would be that would be amazing. Is Kevin here? Presumably. Yeah. I don't, yeah, know. I don't yeah. know. I haven't heard from him. Yeah. We'll have to check. Um, Great. Uh, okay, so let's move on. I see that we're actually 
only halfway through and have a lot more stuff to cover here. Uh, so let's move to our next special guest, and that is Dan Walsh. Dan is one of the many musicians who we met during the pandemic but haven't met in real life, and he's been a great um, contributor, partner, collaborator on the Tunes Play platform. So we're really excited to have him play a set of tunes tonight. All right. Here we go. Hi everyone, my name is Dan Walsh and uh, I'm English, which is why I talk funny. And uh, I'm going to play a couple of tunes for you for the Mario's virtual session. Um, we're going to start off with a single jig called Crabs in the Skillet, and that's going to go into a reel called Miss Crawford, and these are both in G minor. Oh, one, two, three. <laughs> Tune and yeah. I have to learn it. Um, wow, that the da -da 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 -da, the triplets incredible, very cool. Um, and we're gonna have Dan back um, on another session soon. He sent us another yes. set of tunes, which is equally spectacular. Great set of reels, yeah. Coming up. So we'll let you know when when he uh, when he'll be on with that. Maybe two weeks from tonight, yep. something like that. Um, okay, let's see. Oh, I was gonna mention uh, some of you may have been following the series we've been doing um, twice a week called the Limelight series, and it's just like a little five-minute bite-sized performance from um, from a Tunes Play artist each week. Well, the one that happened most recently, when was that? Tuesday? Uh, yeah. It was from um, a, a group called the Bad Neighbors Project. and it, Bad Neighbors Rhythm Project. Oh, Bad Neighbors Ry Rhythm Project. Yes. And it uh, consists of Anna Colleton, uh, Danielle Emblem, and Nora Rendell. Is that who's here, last name? Rendell. Rendell? I think so. They um, created a piece. I don't know how to explain it. It's it's like nothing I've heard before yeah. in Irish music, yeah. um, and it's it's very cool. The the Limelight series video that they did for us was their online debut, which we feel extremely um, honored that they allowed us to showcase their first 
um, work online. Here's, Here's their cool little poster. Yes, and um, Anna's a great photographer. Yeah, so of photography course they have, by Anna, of course. <laughs> they have great pictures. Yeah. Um, and I would encourage you to check it out. Um, all of the Limelight series are great, but this one is just really, really cool. So I'm going to put the link for that yes. in, the, in the chat right now. And you can see them all. How many have there been so far? 31, you know? I believe. Whoa. And I think we're going to finish that up at the end of May, end of May right? which yeah. is coming up here. More, so there's a few or three more. more. Yeah. Yeah. But you can go check those out. Um, and what was the other thing? Oh, yes. One. Where is it? Oh, I hope I brought it over here. CD. Oh, I didn't. Can you grab the CD that's on top yeah. of the books over there? Um, I just wanted to mention that there is one more of um, uh, one more of the CDs. Oh, it's on top of the, on your desk, Chris, over here on top of the books. Um, from B from Brid Harper. She sent us a bunch of CDs uh, to sell on the store, and they're all gone except for this last one, um, which is also square on your bingo, bingo board. Um, but if you want to grab that last CD, it's pretty incredible. I'm going to put the link for that into the chat as well in just a second. This is the one of her band, right? Yes. Cool. All her, C all her solo CDs are gone now. Right. So there's one, one more left. of that. Um, and there's four more of Jerry O'Connor's tune books. And um, I, if, uh, you guys probably know this, but he has offered for anybody who buys the book that he will record for you 12 of the tunes that are in here, your choice of tunes, yep. which is one of the most generous offers I've it's a good deal. ever heard. So we've got four more of these over on the store as well. Um, okay, one last exciting thing before we play another set. Do you want to do you want to introduce this one? Uh, we received another bottle of lemon cello. Actually, this is lime cello. It's lime cello. Yeah. Yeah. Um, courtesy of Bob Beamers. So thank you, Bob. Um, this is we're about to try it. We have not sampled it yet. This is the first time. So first time. Um, we have we are very rich in cellos now. Yeah, we have, we have chin, chin, lime, <laughs> orange, and lemon. And lemon. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So um, here we go. Well, we just got a lot of bingos. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Okay. We'll get to all the okay, bingos in a hold, second. Hold on, everybody. Hold, the bingos. hold on. Okay, we're going to have a we're cheers. Have a cheers first. Cheers, cheers bears. Cheers, everyone. Okay. Whoa. That is strong. That is strong. <laughs> okay, he, he did warn us he it did, was we strong. We were warned, yeah. Oh, my gosh, wow. the taste of it. That's outstanding. Ooh, I get, I'm getting shivers from mm. it. Oh, I wish that Peter Rahill could try this. Mm. So there could be like a... A taste test. Wow, the yeah. limes. Oh my god. That's spectacular. You know what? That would be good on vanilla ice cream. Ice cream. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 95 proof, apparently. Oh my gosh. It's mm. really, really good. Thank you, Bob, for, yeah. um, Tasty. for, for bringing good. that to us. He, he said he used like 70 limes or something, right? Yeah, something crazy. Yeah. And he brought it to us on his bicycle, yeah. which I also yeah. enjoy. Um, okay, so uh, Let's keep going with the bingos. I don't know how many prizes we're going to do, but just keep telling us if you get bingo for now, because I want to move on to another set of tunes here, um, and we will sort the bingos and who won them uh, yeah. uh, the next time Looks we like have a guest. Mimi and Stacia have called bingo, but we'll, we'll sort it out. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. So I bet there's going to be more after this next one. I, I never put enough, enough tunes on. I always think, like, maybe nobody's going to come to right, the session, yeah, yeah. and then people come, which is great. Um, okay. Hornpipes, I think. Are next so we'll do um two hornpipes the first one of which i taught in one of the classes now I've, i'm losing track um alexander's which is in the key of d and then cronin's classic uh g major hornpipe after that two times each okay uh one two three <laughs> Thank you. 
hornpipes. And actually, I think, doesn't Emir, Emir play barn dances next? She does have a barn dance for us. So we're getting a lot of great a lot of... tune types yes, yes. this evening. Okay, s strangely, nobody, nobody got more bingos no on No further that. bingos. That's... But we have two bingos that we need to deal with, right? Which was yes. from Mimi. Yep. And from, who was the other winner? I have lost Scrolling track. Scrolling up in the comments here. There's a lot of chat tonight, which I Stacia, really like. Stacia Alvarez. As a bingo. Great. Okay, so um, that's three, that's four three bingos, and four, right? right? So Mimi and Stacia, let us know which of those uh, prizes you would like. You can do that in the comments or on email. Probably both is a good idea because Just we sometimes can't keep track of all the comments. And sometimes we miss emails. So. That's true. So if you do both, then it will be, will be covered. Um, uh, you can keep telling us your bingos. Why don't you just keep doing that for now and I will think about how many prizes there are because really there could be more. Everyone's going to end up with tunes on a label. That's great. Yeah. And also we have our words coming out too. So Another good prize could be like we owe you a beer at Mario's yeah. when you come to New York. That's a great prize. Or scones. I would send scones people scones if you want yeah. that to be one of your prizes. Anyways, just whatever you want. Whatever you want, we'll, we'll do that. Um, we have some community pictures, though, right now on oh, the yes. theme of New York, New York. Take two. Good ones. Angela Botzer starting us off with her the Zabar's mug, classic, and a couple of... It looks like it used to be an I Heart New York mug. Yes, she said it wore off. Yep. Um, and, uh, we don't have a Zabar's ready. mug, and we should probably have that as New Yorkers. It's pretty much required. It's pretty yeah. much required, yeah. Okay, Ricky and Melinda Halford sent in some great... Great pictures. These are from really Times cool. Square. I don't know the year on this, but they said um, twenty years ago. Twenty years ago. And I think they said I think Melinda said it was their, their last time in New York. Oh, well you're overdue for a visit. And they said they were coming, great. which is great. Uh, I'm gonna just point out what's behind Melinda here. She's she's in front uh, back of a sign that says um, too much is I'll pull this back up. Yeah. So this one says too much is not enough. And now she said that her current motto is um, oh shoot, I forgot. Okay, keep going with that and I'll, I'll pull it up. And the next one is, is Ricky, also on that yep. trip. Yep. They said that they saw Rent. Oh, cool. Yeah. That would have been the original cat 20 years ago. No, it would not have been original. When did that show run? Mm, uh, 90s, I think. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Uh, let's see. Sally Anderson, a couple of pictures here. This is, looks like Times Square. Oh, yeah. Sally sent us a ton of great pictures, and I picked up two. The Times Square, because uh, we're partial to Times Square, working there. Uh, in normal times and this and I I, I can visualize I don't know I think it is but I couldn't she didn't it wasn't labeled so I wasn't sure trying to see do you know if it is that. no I don't know but there's some great architecture especially old mm -hmm. churches here in New York yeah looks even quite European Stephanie Connor oh this is a cool picture this is from Stephanie yeah. um, this is looking at the Brooklyn Bridge intersecting the BQE the Brooklyn Queens Expressway from Brooklyn and the reason I picked this picture is because those buildings over on the on the side in the background there, those are on Manhattan side, and our building, if we looked closely, you could probably see it there. Yes. Which is it's just You're a cool picture. Yeah. yeah. And another one from Stephanie. Oh, that's beautiful. Statue, Statue of Liberty. Liberty. Classic. Sunshine rays. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Mimi Buell sent this in. <laughs> Some okay. dogs in Central Park. Hold on. Did you did I put the caption in there? No. She had, oh shoot. She had a good. Let me just tell you what Melinda Halford said. She said her motto. Uh, um, at the time was too much is not enough and now she says her motto is less is more <laughs> um and mimi had a great uh caption here too she said um the poop troops being rallied uh, i yes, think to go right, into right, central right. park in front of the i believe this is the met yeah, um, seems like it. this is common in new york to see like this many dogs yeah. okay okay russ healy said this and this is not exactly on topic but we love it oh we love it yes um it's always on topic Yes, representing Toon Supply here with his shirt and his um, package there. Uh, Probably had some stickers in it or something. Yes, so he said that his cat there, Cleo, loved the packaging because it contained tissue paper. And we can confirm that Our cat cats... also loves tissue paper. I didn't know that about cats. Yeah. Um, but I love this picture. It's awesome. Was that it? That was it. Oh, there's um, some videos. Some couple of videos here, too. This yeah. one is from Dan. This is just Dan video. Uh, Snyder. Dan Snyder, right? Dan Snyder. It must be. Yeah. Okay, enjoy this. Classic New York site, of course. Skating That's Rockefeller. At Rockefeller. Yeah, Rockefeller Center. Yep. 
And we have a video uh, from the Halfords of their little New York yeah. Melinda globe. said that she collects globes, snow globes from cool. cities that she loves. And so here's the New York one. That's awesome. Love that. Um, I particularly like what's in the background because it's that amazing yeah. view that they have off their deck. Hope we can visit sometime. Um, okay, so those are the community pictures. Thanks oh, as always. One more, actually, oh. one more that. Um, oh, one came at the end. Yes, yes, one came at the end. This is a very important one. <laughs> um, I just have to find it here. Okay. So. This one's worth the wait. Yeah. Let me see. Okay, there's Russ. That's not it. This is from my mom. Um, she just sent this in. Here, I'll make it larger. This is some assorted uh, pictures from, must have been a trip to New York uh, when I was approximately, I don't know, eight, six. That is excellent. <laughs> That's me um, in the, on the top right. I think actually that might be the Empire State Building or like the it. World Trade Center. Not yeah. sure. The old World Trade Center, of course. And top left is me jamming with my cousin <laughs> in great. his basement. Foreshadowing future, yeah, right, future right. events. Um, awesome. Anyway, yeah, that's, uh, that's my submission that's, for New York Week. That you win. Yeah. You win New York Submission Week. Um, awesome. Okay, so we have a few more sets here. Um, the next one is a second set from Emer, and I think it's a barn dance or a couple barn dances. Uh, yes, at least one barn dance. All right, Enjoy. here we go. This time I'm going to play a couple of barn dances because I absolutely love barn dances. The first one is called the Jolly Roving Tar and I'm going to follow that with the dances at Kinvara.
Yeah. Woo! Excellent barn dances. Um, very good. I wonder if we've covered all the tune types now by this time. I should hope so after 71. Yeah, I would think so. Yeah. But it took us a really long time to get through all of them. Yes. Session number 71. Oh, cool. 71, yeah. yeah. And I do have some updates. Well, they're like kind of updates, I guess. We're still figuring things out. But I will tell you those updates after we play the remaining game, the word game. tonight. Are we going to have prizes on the word game as well? Why not? It's a lot of prizes to keep track of. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just, that's true. Okay, if you won a prize tonight, please tell us. Uh, actually, now I'm going to say, please send us an email just to keep track because yes. we're rapidly losing track. Yes. I think Mimi said she wants an, a label, tune on a label. Yeah. You Mimi. must send us an email to claim your prize. Yes, um, and the email is tunes at tune.supply. Mimi, tell us what tune you want, of course. And the, um, who was the number four winner? Do you remember? No. <laughs> okay, whoever you so were. number four winner. <laughs> tell us what you want. Um, and I see... Stacia that, Alvarez. Oh, yes, Stacia, yes. To, uh, let us know what you want. Um, and somebody else just won. I just want to note... Well, Laura Johnson got a second bingo. Oh, she got a second bingo. Yeah. Okay, you don't get a prize for a second no. bingo. Though you get extra points, tins play points, which yes. are worth nothing. Um, nobody else won? Maybe they're just not telling us anymore. Um, okay, so let's go on, go on to the words. Uh, so the way this works, if you haven't played the word game with us, <laughs> is um, I have this great book of strange words. Uh, Chris puts two words up on the screen. Wait, somehow Bob already knows what the word is. Okay, the words are on the bingo board. Oh. Which I, I wanted see. to do the last time okay, we played. Sorry, yeah. Um, so yes, these words are on your bingo board. You might actually win bingo here with these. I put the words on the screen, or Chris does, and then you tell us what you think the words mean. It can either be the real meaning or um, perhaps better, you can make up a meaning mm -hmm. for the words. And um, Isn't that a board game? Balderdash, right? Oh yeah. Where you like make up definitions. I thought I made up this game. Clearly uh, I did I not. So. Um, anyway, here are the words. Okay, Paragrandine. Mm -hmm. Paragrandine? Yeah. Okay. That's the first one. It's a noun. And the second one is very um, pertinent to tonight's games. Uh, premiation. Premiation, yes, of course. That's such a boring sounding word. It, does, it, is, it just yeah. it doesn't really sound like anything right. at all. It's just parts of other words. Yeah. So those are the two words. Let us know what you think those two words mean. And our traditional prize for the words is a tune on a label. Let's just do one tune on a label prize because one otherwise letter. Chris is going to be overloaded with tunes on a label for this yes. week. Um, so you can throw your answers into the chat, and while you're doing that, I will tell you the plans. Um, the tentative plan for right now is that we will keep going with sessions through 75 or 76. We're not sure which yet, so a couple more. Um, and then we will take a break for the summer, or part of the summer, or most of the summer, as we did last year. The um, reason for that is we're going up to Alaska and doing other sorts of uh, gigs and stuff. Um, we do intend to continue the session. It might be at a lesser rate. We might do every two weeks or once a month or something like that. But we're gonna we're gonna keep this going after the pandemic hopefully <laughs> ends or diminishes soon. Will it ever end? We don't know. But NPR says it's gonna be going for two generations. Yeah. I hope not. Um, so diminishes is a good way to, to diminishes. Break. Yes. Um, so we'll keep going, but we are going to take a summer break because we will again be in the land of no internet, and it won't be possible yeah. to continue. So you've got four or five more uh, nights with us coming up, and we'll let you know all the specifics for for that. Um, next week, I'm looking at my list here. Okay, next week is pretty cool. We've got Brenda Castles, um, uh, Gregory Green. Um, you might know Gregory from the very, very famous Irish rock band, The Prodigals. Um, but he also, of course, is a tune player and uh, recorded a couple tunes for us that we didn't get a chance to put on the session around St. Patrick's Day. So he's going to have those tunes for us next week. I'm so excited about that. And um, a classical duo who some of you have seen on our concerts called Boyd Meets Girl, Laura and Rupert, uh, are going to play uh, two cool cello and guitar duets, which you probably won't know because I think they're playing yes. classical music or pop you music or who knows, enjoy them. but they're spectacular. So, so we're going to kind of feature them next week. And Chris and I will continue to play lots of sets. Okay. Any great um, answers to the word game yet? Um, some good ones. I like uh, Barbara Fox. Peregrandine is French grandmother skydiving. Oh, that's good. Clever. <laughs> Premiation, premature bad idea from Doug Wagner. Yeah, I like that's that a good is, one. Yeah. That is really good. A grenade dropped by parachute. Oh, these are good. Accoutrements for making pomegranate cocktails. Yeah. 
<laughs> That's Very really nice, good. Kendall. From Kendall. I just said to Kendall in the chat that I missed his puns mm, yeah. the last uh, couple of, of months. Okay, I see some good ones. I think what we should do here is let's put Mari and Kendall's last set on. Yeah. And we'll choose the winner uh, and announce it when we come back from, from their last set. Sounds good. Okay, here we go. Hello again, folks. Let's play some reels. We have a set of groovy reels for you, with you, because of you, at you, with you. That's the best you. All right, so we are calling this set Mason's Acorn. Yes, Mason's Acorn. How do you get there? Well, got to get an acorn from somewhere. We're going to start with the oak tree in D. And then we'll do the man of the house in E minor. And end up, of course, in Mason's Apron in A, one of my very favorites. All right. And I see you out there, you variation tune players. Feel free to lay it on in these. I know I'm going to play around with these tunes a little bit. Kendall always plays around with these tunes a lot bit. Join us in our shenanigans. Well, two, a one. Thank you. 
man, that was awesome. That sounded great. We should have left our mic on because we were wooing along yeah. and Chris was playing along. Oh, oh my that gosh, that was awesome. Awesome set. Excellent chords. Ooh. Um, well, soon hopefully we'll be able to play together. We've never met Kendall, and um, maybe that can happen. Double I piano, would love that. double yeah, piano I would, would be that. really be incredible. Yeah. Um, Justin Lawrence has an anti bingo. Oh, really? Confirmed anti bingo. Wow. I mean, that <laughs> that should probably deserve a prize. Now, what is like what is our technical definition of anti bingo? I don't know. Does it mean it was you, that you don't get a bingo you don't have throughout any... the entire session? Oh yeah. Has anybody? Does anybody have a board with no squares marked? Oh, that wow. would be very yeah, strange, be... and I think it would be possible actually based on the number of. Yeah. things I put into the I'm, my mom always complains that she has yeah. anti bingos um, well we'll have to we'll have to mix up the bingo next time maybe we could do like a, a shape or something like they do oh, yeah, real yeah, bingo yeah. or blackout or a, or a coverall yeah have an all night session and it's a blackout bingo and the session doesn't end until somebody yeah. gets bingo yeah. that's a great idea um, okay well ideas for the future so let me tell you um, the winner of the word game do you have it there I do it is Barbara Perry Fox with this lovely definition for a peregrandine, <laughs> the French grandmother skydiving. I love it. I love it. And we're just having one winner for the word yes. game. Um, Barbara, you can, um, the traditional prize for winners of the word game is a tune of your choice on a label. If you wanted to select a t-shirt or a, a, a tune recording by a tune spy artist, that, we, that is fine. You can do that. But um, it's up to you. Let us know what you want. Um, the email address is tunes at tune.supply. And we need your address if you want us to send you something. Thank you for playing. I that was probably the best assortment of words, made up words great. that I've yeah, seen those so are great far. Definitions. That was very hard for us to pick. Yeah. I'll quickly tell you what the words really mean. Para, para grandine is a dev, a device for protection against hail. Like an umbrella for hail specifically. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Isn't umbrella in French? Parapluie. I don't know. Interesting. Yeah, that would make sense actually. Yeah. So that would be like a, a grande yeah. pluie, right? Essentially, yeah. Okay, uh, Mimi could probably yes. illuminate this subject for us. And premiation. Now, this is uh, the reason I picked this. Premiation means um, it's a prize giving or the act of bestowing a reward, which is perfect. What we were doing tonight, yes. and which I what I love doing all the time yes so there you go there's your words we are going to play one more set um it's getting a little bit late so hopefully our neighbors don't mind but this is the big set of the night um featuring the tune that i taught in level six this week um an extremely difficult extremely rare tune that is one of my favorites um the middle tune is called the moving clouds and this is the original version of the moving clouds not the kind of more modern version that you would mo more frequently hear if you hear it at all. It's a it's a pretty uncommon tune altogether, but mm -hmm. this is the original version which Dan Lowry made me learn um, to put on uh, our CD Warbler Range. Um, he didn't make me learn it. What he said was, I'm not going to play it unless you play the original version. <laughs> so I had to learn the original and I love it. Are we going to um, show this picture before we play that? What? Oh, picture. shoot. Yes, we'll do it in just a second. Okay, yeah. Let me tell you the other tunes and then, yes, thank you for reminding me. The most important thing is the night. Well, I don't well, know. probably not. Um, first tune is going to be Portal of the Kelp. Second one is, uh, I, taught that, I taught that in Fiddle Hell, by the way. So hopefully some folks learned it there. Moving Cloud and Julia Delaney, uh, one of my favorite uh, original tunes from up in Alaska. Um, okay, the last... Original tunes meaning... Sorry. One of my... Your, one of your first tunes. First that tunes that I learned up in Alaska. I did not write Julia Delaney. Right. I wish I did. It's a great tune. Yes. Um, final thing, final link of the night. There is a... I would say 3% chance, 2%, 2.5% chance that we might try to put together a little Alaska tour, not a music, well, it would be a music tour also, but a tour for tourists. It's extremely small chance, but um, I am going to send an email out about that possible small chance um, in a few days. If you want to be on the list that receives that email, um, get on the mailing list. I'm gonna put the link right here alaska.supply of course and there's a little poster um we should change it to it probably won't happen yeah but there's a there's the slightest chance so um put get yourself on the mailing list if you are at all interested and i'll send you some information shortly and do not get your hopes up no really don't no really don't yeah but but it might happen it might happen and if it doesn't happen this summer we'll try to do it for next summer yeah okay last set
Okay, sorry. Over. Okay, we're gonna start over. Sorry, I just saw the comments coming yeah. in. We're back to the beginning. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Kind of glad that 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 happened because there was some great punning and joke making oh, yeah. in the comments, yeah. um, <clears throat> including a joke about uh, the Philip Glass piece entitled Four Minutes and Thirty Three Seconds," yes. which is a great, great uh, classical music joke. Excellent. It's, um, that's John Cage. Oh, John Cage. Sorry. Um, yes, great, a great pun making. I like that we can we can have a mistake and still um, there's some value to be had mm -hmm. out of it. That's good. Um, 
so thanks for joining us for the this bingo session tonight i saw a bunch more people one bingo right at the end um excellent great i guess the the answer is that i should always put more tunes on the bingo board than i think yes. we need but you know the first time i do that we're going to get through the whole thing no and one's nobody's going to yeah. have bingo <laughs> i said anyways um it's been fun to to play games um with with all of you um tonight i think this whole thing started with the games session the epic game session that we did last summer oh yeah when Which, we had like six games. I believe it was over two hours, yeah. that session. That was, um, that was a lot. <laughs> it was a lot. That was a CTAR session yes. up in Alaska. Right. So if you like the games, you can go back and um, play along uh, yeah. on the session playlist. Um, let's see. I think that's well, it. So yeah. thank Chip you. it in the box if you can. Oh, yes. It helps us to pay all of our guest artists that appear on the session. So we really appreciate anything you're able to throw our way. Yes. And I we forgot to say that this evening too much so um yes please don't forget um we'll put the uh, link one more time uh, yes i will do that um thanks to our special guests kendall and mari and dan walsh and emer it's good to have you guys and um what else um and if you won a prize and did not yet do so oh, please yeah. email us uh and tell us what you want so we can send it to you tunes at tune.supply mm -hmm. um i think there should be five winners one uh one from the word game and four from the bingos Yes. Is that right? Is that what we said? Sounds right. <laughs> um, we will look forward to seeing you next week for um, one of probably four or five more sessions before we take a break. We'll keep you updated on the mailing list as to what's going on and the Facebook page. So be sure that you're on one or one or both of those for updates. Yeah. All right. Also sign up for Alaska Supply. And sign up Even for Alaska Supply. Even though it probably Supply. won't happen. <laughs> Even if it doesn't happen this summer. I, I'm going to try to we'll make it happen next summer. summer. Yeah. yeah. So, and that'll be really fun. Um, all right. We will all. see you next week. Okay. Bye. Enjoy the warmth. Yeah.